Hi band families, it's Mrs. Schmiedel and Mrs. Miles here to do the band awards for 2020. This year in the band room, first we'd like to say we miss you. It's been a strange year for sure, definitely non-traditional in every sense of the word. We want to say how proud we are of you for working through all of the challenges that we've faced in the last few months. Thank you for keeping the music going, for working hard to build important musical skills that will certainly serve you well in the future. Mrs. Miles and I are incredibly proud of all the bands and anxiously awaiting the chance to make music together again. Today we recognize 13 wonderful seniors who have exciting things planned for their future. We're so proud of them. But first we'll start with our sixth grade band awards. Presentation of all county pins. In the fall of each new school year, we recommend top-notch sixth grade band students for selection to Onondaga County's elementary all-county band. Though several students from this group were recommended, only one was accepted. The festival was supposed to take place in April, but was canceled because of quarantine. We are so proud of this student and we want to recognize her for her selection, even though she didn't get to participate in the festival. Congratulations to Carmen Givens on timpani. The Most Improved Musician Award. This award goes to a student who has worked exceptionally hard to improve their performance level through the course of this school year. She started the school year having to almost start over again on her instrument. She immediately got to work and has spent the year tirelessly mastering note reading and fingerings and holding up the whole band all by herself. She has improved immensely and we couldn't be more proud of her for her contributions to the group. The 2020 Most Improved Band Student Award goes to Ava Lee and our Outstanding Band Student Award for sixth grade. The Outstanding Band Student Award is for that student who's a real leader in their domain. This student came into the band in the fall and switched instruments. He was bored on his first instrument and looking for more of a challenge. He started over from the beginning of a new book and got to learn all the way through the book in just one year on a very difficult instrument. The student is a definite leader who is always prepared for every lesson, rehearsal, and performance. It is with great pride that I award the 2020 Outstanding Band Student Award to Timothy Barnum. Congratulations, sixth graders. And now we'll move on to our seventh and eighth grade awards. This year's middle schoolers were pretty busy before we had to leave for our extended vacation, but I'd like to recognize many students for their accomplishments. And I'm gonna start with the Area Allstate Award. To obtain a spot in NISMA's Area Allstate Band, a student must first attend NISMA during the previous school year. Using the score from that so solo, along with the director's recommendation, a committee selects the highest scoring students from six counties to represent their schools during the area all state festivals. This year's festival was held at Ithaca High School for the seventh through ninth grade students. And the participants representing the middle school band in junior high area all state were Maddie Hudson on trumpet, Blake Masters on trombone, and Andrew Ward also on trombone. Each student will receive an Area All-State pin. Our Most Improved Award. For middle school band, we have a 7th grade Most Improved and an 8th grade Most Improved. The first is the 7th grade. It is given to the student who has worked hard to improve their playing and performance. This year's 7th grade recipient worked diligently to improve as a musician. The student was one who in the past would forget lessons as well as sometimes their music and instrument at times. But since the beginning of the year, this student has made it a habit to bring their instrument and music to all lessons and band and has attended their lessons regularly. During at-home instruction, the student turned in all of their work and did a great job, did it with a smile, played all of the notes and the rhythms correct, and even left me little messages every time he recorded. He has become a solid member of the low section, and I'd like to congratulate this year's seventh grade most improved student, Casey Mannion, on bassoon. Thank you for all of your hard work this year, Casey. It doesn't go unnoticed. This year's eighth grade recipient of the Most Improved Award has really grown as a musician this year. The student started the year not knowing anything about the instrument they were playing because they had just started on it. In fact, they had recently just started playing instruments. They didn't start in fifth and sixth grade. It was a new instrument to them and they started from square one. He had worked throughout the year to become a better music reader of music, both the notes and the rhythms. He has consistently been able to play all of the parts in the band music. He has also excelled at his book assignments and was doing a great job on his NISMA solo, even without much help from me since he did a lot of it during home instruction. I'd like to congratulate this year's eighth grade recipient of the Most Improved Award, Dana Ingersoll on tuba. The Outstanding Band Student. 
There's many outstanding students in the middle school band. And as you could tell from a lot of our, our, the two concerts that we had, the Outstanding Band Student Award goes to a student who excels at and enjoys band. The student gives their all on every piece of music put in front of them, from band music, jazz band, marching band, NISMA, and lesson book music. This year's recipient is a fantastic musician and leads the section. She has attended NISMA since fifth grade, and this year's solo was sounding great. She's also helpful to others if they ask and always has a smile on her face. It has been a pleasure to teach this year's outstanding band student, Marissa Trommel on saxophone. And the final award for middle school band is the director's award. And this year's eighth grade class, there's a lot of really great players and uh, it was very hard to choose this award. So I couldn't choose one, so I chose two, but I'm gonna tell you about a little bit about both of these students. Each of these students are leaders in their section and they strive to play their parts the best that they can. And then they go ahead and encourage the others around them to do the same. Each of these students have represented Fabius Pompey at Area Allstate. They play in jazz band. They've attended NISMA as well as all county auditions. They each challenge themselves musically as often as they can and are always willing to lend a helping hand, whether it be with something fundraising, planning a trip, passing out and collecting music or anything else I ask them. This year's director's awards go to Maddie Hudson on trumpet and Blake Masters on trombone. Congratulations to everybody in middle school band on a wonderful year. And I'm gonna turn it over to Mrs. Schmidl for the high school awards. Thank you, Mrs. Miles and congratulations middle school band students. This year, high school band students participated in two band concerts, played carols with the Christmas Brass Ensemble, performed Christmas carols for residents at a local nursing home, attended two area all-state festivals and two all-county festivals, performed with the Symphoria Youth Orchestra and the Allegro Wind Ensemble, and prepared to take a trip to Boston that was canceled. They played through quarantine, turning in virtual assignments and working hard to keep their skills fresh. Through all of this, there's one thing we're certain of. We have, without a doubt, the best students to work with at Fabius Pompey, and we're so incredibly proud of them. And now for the awards. Presentation of all county pins. Each year, students in grades seven through 12 may audition to become a member of OCMEA's all county band or orchestra. The junior high groups are made up of students in grades seven through nine, and the senior high groups are made up of students in grades 10 through 12. From those auditions, the best in the county are chosen and they are invited to perform with the All County Ensemble for a weekend in January. Junior High All County was held at Salve High School this past January. And congratulations to Phoebe Donahue Robinson on clarinet and Miracle Seymour on trumpet for their selection to this group. In Senior High All County, students participated in this festival in January at West Genesee High School. They did a fantastic job in a beautiful concert. Congratulations to Parker Goodrum, Horn, Chloe Carr, trombone, Calista Donahue Robinson, tuba, and Jamie Andrews, percussion. We have all county pins for you that we'll get to you as soon as we can. Now for our presentation of area all state medals. Junior high area all state took place in November at Ithaca High School. Our students did a fantastic job representing Fabius Pompey. Congratulations to Phoebe Donahue Robinson, clarinet, and Amelia Trail, clarinet. Senior High Area Allstate was held at Ithaca College this year during the first weekend in February. Our students got to play under top-notch collegiate conductors and played a fantastic concert. Congratulations to Jonathan Mokri, bassoon, Parker Goodrum, horn, Chloe Carr, trombone, Calista Donahue Robinson, tuba, and Jamison Andrews, percussion. And now for the Officer Awards. I would like to thank the members of the band that were selected as officers this year. These students assisted with fundraisers and helped to plan the trip to Boston that we unfortunately did not get to take. I sincerely appreciate your help and efforts in making the planning and fundraising a smooth process. I'll be dropping off a small surprise for you as a token of thanks. We usually award pins, but the company was been, has been closed through quarantine. Thank you to our officers, Trevor Clarkson, President, Jamie Andrews, Vice President, Eric Beardsley, Treasurer, Brooke Mall, Secretary, and then our librarians, John Mokri, Caleb Pitts, and Ashley Osborne. Thank you very much. Now on to the Most Improved Musician Award. This is my favorite award to give out. Many times the person receiving it has no idea that they deserve it. This year it goes to someone who's really upped her game in the band room. As an incoming freshman, I was certain she would quit band in high school. She didn't come to lessons and she didn't seem very into it. As can often be the case, she stuck with it and the switch flipped and she really started to grow. 
She's worked really hard this year and I'm so appreciative of her efforts. She's attended almost every lesson and worked hard to complete every online assignment in quarantine. I'm so proud of all the growth I've seen out of her this year. The 2020 Most Improved Musician is Gina Grisak. The Rookie of the Year Award. There aren't always opportunities to recognize freshmen during award ceremonies like this, as these awards are often reserved for juniors and seniors. The person who's receiving this award tonight has been a true all-star. She was accepted to junior high area Allstate, and she worked hard to audition for All County and was also accepted to that. She challenged herself this spring to prepare a level six solo for NISMA, and oh, how I wish she could have performed it. She's also been learning to play the E-flat clarinet. She's been incredibly valuable to the band over the last several months and has worked hard for the group. I'm proud to announce that our 2020 Rookie of the Year is Phoebe Donahue Robinson. Congratulations. The Arian Award. The Arian Award was established to give national recognition to junior class members chosen by their schools for outstanding achievement in band. Selection for this honor is based on two criterion, the individual's contribution to his scholastic standing or musical organization and the demonstration of personal and professional performing ability and musicianship qualities. This student has demonstrated an ability to just go through it, go for it throughout high school. As a freshman in her first concert with a group, I gave her a huge exposed solo in the middle of a piece and she dug right in and owned it. She's performed difficult solos at NISMA Solo Festival and received top ratings. She is consistently accepted to Senior High All County and Senior High Area All State. This spring, she was supposed to audition for Conference All State at NISMA. Outside of our school, she performs with the Symphoria Youth Orchestra and the Lemoyne College Orchestra. Her beautiful sound fills out her band room, and I am incredibly and is incredibly critical to our ensemble's successes. It is with tremendous pride that I present the 2020 Arian Award for Outstanding Achievement in Band to Miss Callista Donahue Robinson. Congratulations. The Band Directors Award. The Band Directors Award goes to an individual that's really risen above and beyond the call of duty in band. This student has consistently been a leader of this group, holding together his section through massive personnel changes in the last several years. He has consistently participated in NISMA Solo Festival and has been in all county and area all state every year. This year, he was an alternate for NISMA Conference All State. He's held together the percussion section in our marching band at parades and kept us all moving together in the right direction. Having studied privately for many years, his talents in percussion are unmatched in our school. He is a talented young man in academics, music, and athletics who will be dearly missed next year as he leaves us for college. The 2020 Band Directors Award goes to Mr. Jameson Andrews. Congratulations. And our final award is the John Philip Sousa Award. The Sousa Award is the highest award in a high school band. Introduced in 1955 to honor the top senior student in the high school band, the John Philip Sousa Band Award recognizes superior musicianship and outstanding dedication. This student has proven himself to be invaluable to the band. Over the last four years, I've seen him work tirelessly to improve his musical abilities and make himself one of the top musicians in New York State. He's been selected to all county and area all state every year and has participated in NISMA solo festival yearly, receiving a 100% on his NISMA all state audition last spring. This past December, he had the honor of performing with the NISMA Conference All State Orchestra. He has completely transformed his sound since middle school and has mastered many difficult level six solos on his instrument. He's attended music, ca camp music camps and master classes all over the United States and has been accepted to nearly every college he applied to for music, all of which are top schools for music in the U.S. and Canada. On top of all of this, he's a truly accomplished actor, singer, and composer. The music department is a place where he truly shines. He is very deserving of this honor. It is with pride that I present the 2020 John Philip Sousa Award to Mr. Jonathan Mokri. Congratulations, John. And now we move on to the presentation of senior awards. There are 14 seniors graduating this year. It's with both pride and sadness that I present to you the 2020 graduating seniors from our high school band. It's been a beautiful seven years watching them grow and change. It will be hard to imagine Fabius Pompey without them. Seniors in our band program have sat through 900 band rehearsals with me. We've had approximately 222 lessons together. We've performed 27 concerts and eight parades, or six. And we've traveled all over the place. This group went to nationalist freshmen, Washington DC as sophomores, and New York City to see Aladdin as juniors. They've been a part of the group that earned gold with distinction at NISMA majors. They won all of the things at competition in Washington, D.C. Some of them have earned their way into all county and area all state festivals. To say that I'm proud of them doesn't begin to do it justice, and the experiences that have come out of the last seven years have been truly remarkable. 
I'm pleased to have had the privilege of working with these students and want to thank them from the bottom of my heart for their service to the music department. As a thank you for your years of service, we'll be delivering your towel to you this week on behalf of the music department and the music support team, courtesy of Mrs. Feeney. Thank you. Our first senior is Jamie Andrews. Jamison participated in NISMA Solo Festival every year and was accepted to all county and area all state every year as a percussionist. This year, Jamie was a conference all state alternate based on his score of 100 A plus at all state auditions in his junior year. Jamie has also participated in marching band, trash can band, and jazz ensemble every year here at FP. This year, he was our band vice president, last year serving as president. His favorite band memories through the years include the Nashville and DC trips, playing in the trash can band, when Liam and Brian hid the bongos in his backpack, and when Connor Perro messed up the ratchet part of the competition in DC and the judge liked it better his way. His favorite pieces to perform were Abrams Pursuit and the Pirates of Caribbean in his first band concert. My favorite memories of Jamie include watching him get into the mix with Brian and Liam as a freshman and all the trouble they caused. The time he told me he was prepared to go to all county and then asked me what music we were playing in the car on the way there and then proceeded to use this as a joke to raise my blood pressure for every single festival after that. Watching him sail through incredibly difficult solos with ease and the many inside jokes that come from lots of time together traveling to weekend festivals and concerts. Jamie would like to thank his parents for driving him to lessons and always listening to him constantly banging on things through the years. He would also like to thank Mrs. Miles and Mrs. Schmiedel for all the work they've done to help him and his classmates. Jamison plans to attend Hamilton College in the fall, where he will play on the men's soccer team and major in either economics or computer science. Congratulations, Jamie. <clears throat> Eric Beardsley, Euphonium. Eric has participated in jazz ensemble and marching band in his time at FP. He was also the dedicated band treasurer for the last two years, a thankless, tedious job, but one that's incredibly important. Thank you, Eric, for all of your hours counting money and crunching numbers with me. Eric came into the band as a trumpet player and transferred to Euphonium to help fill a hole in the ensemble. His favorite memories include the dance party in Nashville, touring the Capitol building in Washington, D.C., getting lost in New York City, and having Aiden teach him the ropes on Euphonium. My favorite memories of Eric include getting to know him through some long conversations on the way home from Nashville, joking around with him while counting quarters and despairing over the status of the band account, and watching him turn into an awesome Euphonium player after his transfer from trumpet in his freshman year. His favorite piece to perform was Symphonic Dance Number no. 3, and his favorite performance was the competition in Washington, D.C. He would like to thank his family for their support over the years. Next year, Eric plans to attend Pennsylvania State University to major in computer science. Congratulations, Eric. Trevor Clarkson. Trevor has played alto and soprano saxophone for us in band. He also participated in the marching band and jazz ensemble for four years. This year, he served as our band president. Trevor's favorite memories through his years in band include making the CD at RCA Studio B in Nashville, seeing The Wiz at Ford's Theater, countless laughing sessions during rehearsals, and receiving gold with distinction at NISMA majors. My favorite memories of Trevor are numerous, from him secretly learning Careless Whisper from Tom Laskowski before Tom graduated so that he can continue to torture me with it, for him always taking my advice to play with confidence even if you're going to make mistakes, for Trevor made the most memorable, loud, and proud mistakes of this class of seniors. For sending me photos of myself conducting in the band in the middle of rehearsal when he was supposed to be playing. And for him always cooking up trouble with whoever he sat next to. He always kept me on my toes, laughing and smiling while shaking my head along the way. He would like to thank his parents for cheering him on, Mrs. Schmiedel and Mrs. Miles for making him the best saxophone player he could be. In Trevor's words, Kyle, I guess. And his favorite fellow band students for always being there for a nice chat and laughing when he messes up. His favorite piece was three klezmer miniatures and his favorite performance was this year's Christmas concert. In Trevor's words, it may not have been our best, but it was the last time I'll ever play in front of a live audience. Trevor will be attending RPI to major in aerospace engineering. Congratulations, Trevor. Aaron Zarnecki. Aaron participated in concert band, jazz ensemble, and marching band throughout high school. In her freshman year, Erin came into the band as a flute player. I quickly realized she had the potential to fill a major hole in the ensemble. We had a nice chat about possibly switching instruments, and she agreed to give it a try. I quickly realized, as did Erin, that she had found her home on the very sax. She filled that giant instrument up with sound so effortlessly, and now when I think about her even playing the flute, it makes me laugh. Total instrument identity crisis. Her personality is so much better exhibited now. Erin's favorite band memories include the Washington, D.C. trip, the countless laughs during rehearsals, and finding out how much she liked the berry more than the flute. My favorite memories of Erin include her instrument switch and how much it improved the sound of the whole band to have her playing berry, 
the endless laughter and lessons with her, and her ability to be open and honest in all of her communication. She tells excellent stories, and because of her willingness to open up in lessons, I feel like I've, I, I feel like I've gotten to know her pretty well over the last seven years. I'll truly miss the laughter. Erin's favorite piece was the Avengers Endgame, and her favorite performances were the Christmas concerts. She would like to thank Mrs. Schmiedel and Mrs. Miles for never giving up on any of us and for always supporting her, and Mrs. Schmiedel for showing her what true music is and that it is very important in the world. Erin plans to attend Onondaga Community College next year with an undeclared major. Congratulations, Erin. Crystal Davies. Crystal participated in concert band and marching band every year where she was our dedicated banner carrier. Crystal's favorite band memories were going to Washington, D.C. and the countless laughs during rehearsals. My favorite memories of Crystal were watching her work through all her scales and really get many of them this year. All of the laughs I've seen her have with her friends and band and getting to travel with her on the trips and work at the chicken barbecue with her. I also thoroughly enjoyed watching her tell the various drum majors what to do in marching band. <laughs> Crystal's favorite pieces were the Avengers and Sleigh Ride and at the Christmas concerts and Dance Bacchanal. She would like to thank Mrs. Miles and Mrs. Schmiedel for never giving up on us and her dad for telling her that playing in band would be fun and for always supporting her. Next year, Crystal plans to attend SUNY Brockport to study social work. Congratulations, Crystal. Madeline Donahue Robinson. Maddie participated in concert band, jazz ensemble, marching band, Nismo Solo Festival every year, Area Allstate last year, and the musical pit band this year. Her favorite band memories throughout the years include the trip to Nashville, the band lessons where we were too busy laughing to get too much done, yelling at Megan after band rehearsal for no other reason than just to yell at her, and hanging out and laughing with her friends. My favorite memories of Maddie include the laughter. There sure was a lot of it. There were multiple occasions where she got me laughing so hard that I ended up in tears. <laughs> I'll never forget watching Maddie in the drama in Alice in Wonderland this past fall. She truly has the best laugh I've ever heard. It's something that I'll always remember fondly about her and appreciate from all of our lessons laughing together. I also enjoy looking back over four years with Maddie and watching her trumpet playing really grow. She earned first trumpet and has proven herself to be a dominating force behind what can appear to be a quiet persona. I've also spent several years in awe of her artistic talents. Maddie would like to thank her family and Kat for tolerating, tolerating the horrendous noises that she used to make and sometimes still does, and her sisters who enjoy correcting any and all of her mistakes. Her favorite pieces to perform were Abrams Pursuit and Pirates of the Caribbean, and her favorite performance was one we won gold with distinction in Nismo Majors. Next year, Maddie will be attending Ithaca College to major in art. Congratulations, Maddie. Megan Gagne. Megan has played flute and piccolo in concert band and marching band throughout high school. She participated in NISMA Solo Festival from 5th to 10th grade in all county in 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th grades and in area all state in grades 9 and 10. Her favorite memories include dancing in Nashville, Mr. Sharp buying cowboy boots, highly intense flute pencil checks, talking about the goods and the bads with Eloise, laughing at inside jokes in the middle of the song to the point of not being able to play, predicting senior donut days, running to get a milkshake after the Memorial Day parades, choosing lessons over class every time and then spending some of the lesson talking, getting to go outside for marching practice, Christmas parties, caroling at the nursing home this year and getting to go to Panera and Sweet Frog after, surviving the ride to Nashville with Sergeant Slaughter, and having a baton go flying by our head in the middle of a national band competition in Nashville and stopping to, play, to pick it up. As a freshman, that terrified her. Thanks for rescuing me, Megan. My favorite memories of Megan include working with her as a young sixth grader and her dedication to getting better as a musician, watching her take on incredibly difficult flute solos and work to master them, the beautiful sound that she can produce on the piccolo, endless laughs and great conversation and band lessons, and watching her shine on stage performing in plays and musicals. She certainly made a great Mary Poppins and a beautiful belle. Megan's favorite piece was Abram's Pursuit, and her favorite performance was the one in Nashville. She would like to thank her parents, Mrs. Schmiedel and Mrs. Miles, for their support. Megan plans to attend Grove City College in the fall, majoring in Spanish education with a minor in musical theater. Congratulations, Megan. Grace George. Grace participated in concert band, marching band, Nisma Solo Festival, and was selected to Area Allstate for her clarinet playing. Her favorite band memories include traveling to Washington, D.C., going to New York City to see Aladdin, and being told by Mr. Ru Mr. Russo to do something with the hair. My favorite memories of Grace include many, many laughs over the years watching her musical skills grow into the amazing ability to lead the clarinet section for two years and how she always took my advice to go big or go home to heart. She would valiantly attempt every crazy high clarinet part I gave her with gusto, squealing through the high register with immense courage in her first attempts and causing great amounts of laughter from both of us along the way. 
We had some great conversations about life and lessons, and I'll certainly miss those talks with her. She's also quite the photographer. Grace's favorite band pieces were Abram's Pursuit and the Pirates of the Caribbean. She would like to thank Mrs. Schmiedel for encouraging her and pushing her to be her best through the years and her parents, who covered all of her band expenses and supported her. Grace will attend Lemoyne College in the fall with an undeclared major. Congratulations, Grace. Sophie Kirkaby. Sophie participated in concert band, marching band, and Nisma solo festival throughout high school. Her favorite band memories include when Mrs. Schmiedel accidentally hit her brother with a shoe in the middle of rehearsal. Let's not talk about that. All the times class got derailed for five minutes or more because we all couldn't stop laughing. Not dying at the wheel of Sergeant Slaughter on the way to Nashville. All of the band trips and Mrs. Schmiedel telling us stories and baking us cupcakes. My favorite memories of Sophie include teaching Sophie as a sixth grader and watching her talents really take off on the flute. The many great stories and laughs we had in her lesson group. Her love of books and art and all things creative. She and Cassandra always seemed like they were in a silent competition to see who could read the biggest book. My favorite thing was listening to her play this year. There comes a point in the learning of an instrument where things just settle and click. And that really happened for Sophie this year. Whether she realized it or not, this year she was conquering incredibly difficult flute parts with ease. She's really grown as a musician and I'm so proud of her. Sophie's favorite band pieces were Abrams for Suit and Foundry. She would like to thank her parents, friends, siblings, Mrs. Schmiedel and Mrs. Miles for their support. Sophie will attend the Rochester Institute of Technology in the fall to major in animation. Congratulations, Sophie. John Mokri. John participated in concert band on bassoon, marching band on alto saxophone, and jazz ensemble on bass guitar. He attended Nisma Solo Festival every year, performing a total of 15 solos between bassoon and voice over the years, and receiving a 100% on his All-State audition in his junior year, which earned him a seat in Nisma's Conference All-State Symphony Orchestra. He has been accepted to all county and area all state every year. John has been in the Symphoria Youth Orchestra for two years. He's attended three years of summer camps, including two at the prestigious Interlochen Arts Camp in Michigan. This year, John auditioned for music school and was accepted at the Peabody Institute of the Johns Hopkins University, the University of North Carolina School of the Arts, Manus College of Music in Manhattan, and Shenandoah University in Virginia. John's favorite band memories include the Nashville and Washington DC trips, playing his first solo with a band on his first concert in freshman year with Pirates of the Caribbean, staying after school in the band room almost every day, seeing the band teacher's faces when he performed his eighth grade all-county audition so well, getting his first perfect score at NISMO with the Telemann Sonata, and my reaction when John told me he got into the Interlock and Orchestral Studies program for the summer last year. My favorite memories of John include watching him walk into the sixth grade band room all those years ago and listening to him playing as a sixth grader and watching the incredible breathtaking transformation that's occurred in him as a musician throughout high school. His interest in music and composition is unparalleled. He's by far the most scholarly young musician I've ever taught. He's determined and somehow manages to get an insane amount of things done in a day. I'm pretty sure he doesn't sleep and just spends his nights practicing and composing. Mostly, I'll never forget in the last two years, the number of times I've gotten to sit in a practice room and hear truly remarkable music come out of him. What a gift he has. John's favorite band piece at school was Lincolnshire Posey, and his favorite performance was the recording in RCA Studio B in Nashville. His favorite out-of-school performances were Petrushka and his Allstate concert. John would like to thank Mrs. Schmiedel, Mrs. Miles, Mr. Cole, his parents, his grandma for getting him his first bassoon, Mrs. King, his private lesson teacher, Dr. Rom Romine from Shenandoah, and William Short, his teacher at Interlochen. Next year, John plans to attend the Manus College of Music in Manhattan to major in music performance and composition, where he'll study with Mark Goldberg, the former principal bassoonist of the New York Philharmonic and the New York City Ballet. Congratulations, John. Brooke Mall. Brooke played clarinet and concert band and marching band throughout high school. Her favorite memories include the Nashville trip, Washington DC trip, and the New York City trip the bonds that were created with people in the band because of the trips, and all the inside jokes with friends that people who aren't in bed just don't understand. My favorite memories of Brooke include watching her go from bashful to courageous as first clarinetist. It was always fun to listen to her and Grace just go for it with the crazy fast or high parts. She always did what I asked of her and really progressed beautifully throughout high school. I'll miss her smiles and her giggles, and I always enjoyed watching her and her friends laughing together on trips and in the classroom. Her favorite piece to perform was Abram's Pursuit. Brooke would like to thank her parents for their support, for coming to all of her band concerts, and for always making sure she has what she needs. Brooke plans to attend SUNY Cortland in the fall to major in exercise science. Congratulations, Brooke. Ashley Osborne. 
Ashley has played trombone in concert band, marching band, and jazz ensemble throughout, throughout high school. Her favorite band memories include the Nashville trip, walking around Nashville with her friends, and the night at the Grand Ole Opry. She really enjoyed lessons this year with Eliza and Ryan and hearing Mr. Schmiedel's stories through the years. My favorite memories of Ashley include her expert use of the trombone phone number system for playing her scales and watching her progress through high school into the trombone player she's become, one who can be really, one who can be relied on to perform her parts well and with confidence. I will always remember all the laughter and lessons as we all tried to master parts and lesson book material. It's been a lot of fun. Her favorite piece was the Great Locomotive Chase, and her favorite performance was the Nashville competition because the band students are all very excited and because it was her first big performance. Ashley would like to thank her mom, dad, and Mrs. Schmiedel for their support. Ashley will attend Onondaga Community College in the fall with an undeclared major. Kayla Pitts. Kayla played trombone in concert band, marching band, and jazz ensemble for all of high school. He also participated in Nisma Solo Festival. His favorite band memories include arriving at school this year at 1015 and, being in, and having band be his first class and band lessons. They were always the best part of his day. My favorite memories of Caleb include big conversations about life and relationships and music, watching him grow into an, a courageous and confident trombone player over the years, and always having him around in my room doing homework or taking a break from things. We certainly have had a lot of laughs. Caleb would like to thank Mrs. Schmiedel for doing whatever it takes to support her band kids and for being a great teacher in the first place. Oh, thanks, Caleb. Mrs. Miles for all of your help in middle school and for still making us laugh in high school. And Mr. Russo for reteaching him how to play the trombone after he forgot over the summer while Mrs. Miles was on maternity leave. His favorite band piece was Abrams Pursuit and his favorite performance was the national competition. Caleb will attend Onondaga Community College in the fall with an undeclared major. Congratulations, Caleb. And last but not least, Hannah Warner. Hannah played trumpet in concert band, marching band, and jazz ensemble for all of high school. Her favorite band memories include the trip to Nashville and the bus driver in Nashville that had a crush on Mr. Sharp. My favorite memories of Hannah include massive amounts of giggling and lessons with her and Maddie. They always managed to get me off track quickly and for a while. Several times they had me laughing until I was crying. It was always so much fun to teach them. Hannah was a fantastic section player through the years who could always be counted on to play her parts and to be a major contributor to the group. I'm very grateful for that. Hannah would like to thank Mrs. Schmiedel and Mrs. Miles for all they've done for us over the years. Her favorite piece was Abrams Pursuit and her favorite performance was the Nashville competition. Hannah plans to attend Misericordia and University in the fall to major in occupational therapy. Congratulations, Hannah. Congratulations to all seniors. Best wishes on your future endeavors. Keep a smile on your face and music in your heart and don't forget us. We will miss you. I'll be around to deliver your towels and uh, give you socially distant um, goodbyes. But thank you to all of you for watching this. Thank you for your service to the band program and the music department. Um, from the bottom of my heart and from Mrs. Miles too, uh, we couldn't thank you enough. We know 2020 was a tough year, but we'll be back at it next year and we can't wait to make music together again. Thanks. Mm -hmm.